Welcome to the tee off. Welcome to the tee off. Oh, 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 spill that tea, sis. This is how we like to start our show off. We like to spill some tea on our favorite athletes and some of the crazy situations they get themselves into. This week's tee off victim is none other than Paul Pierce, the truth. Right? NBA champion, NBA finals MVP, 10 time all star for the Boston Celtics, certified legend in the game, maybe the only man to ever defecate himself, fake an injury to be carted off, and then return to the game. You roll your eyes. Because they don't love him like that. That's a great quotable by Draymond. <laughs> but more importantly, victim, he did this to himself. Sometimes you are victims of your own circumstances. I guess. He L- told a little bit too much of the truth on IG, though. Oh, ESPN could not handle the truth. <laughs> Quite literally. Look, for everybody who is not already familiar with what happened here, you know, over the last weekend, Paul Pierce got on IG Live, was having a Quite a good night, some would say. You know, jealous. He he was playing poker with his boys. He had the yak in one hand, the blunt in the other. And of course, and this episode should honestly be named the Revenge of the Booty Cheek Particles. Because they back. (laughs) Because the booty cheek particles are back claiming another man's job. (laughs) And I think the booty cheek particles might actually be what got him fired. I, I honestly think so too. So if y'all don't know, he's blunt in one hand, yakking the other. He's going nuts. He's putting the camera up and getting the angle right so you can he see got- all the booty slapping everywhere. He's talking to some woman named Monica. Monica, you can make a lot of money tonight. <laughs> yo, you know, yo, you that type of nigga at the strip club <laughs> when you hit up a stripper or exotic dancer or sex worker, whoever Monica is, because we don't know who Monica is. And you be like, yo, you should be here right now. You can make a lot of... That's a Drake bar. Drake has done that. That's a Drake bar. (laughs) (laughs) You can make a lot of money tonight. (laughs) Yeah, Drake had a whole song where he's like, I could come through and pick you up and make a lot of money tonight. Look, facts. And we know Drake loves him some strippers and porn stars. And and Paul Pierce is no different. No, no. No different. Uh, Unfortunately, Paul Pierce works for ESPN who is a sub-company of the mouse. Disney. And that's not how Disney rolls. No, it's a nice family company. It is a nice family company that do not acknowledge the existence of strippers. I'm pretty sure they all have morals clauses in their contract. I don't even think it has to be strippers. It's just like anything that we disagree with. <laughs> you you rocking the, the new... Um, the new collabs, the the Satan, the Satan uh, collabs from Nike. You the little go. Nas X ones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. Like, Why? It's offensive. To whom? I don't know, but somebody who, delicate somebody who pays us. <laughs> yes, yes. To somebody that pays us. So he's going, look, honestly, Bradley Beal had the best comment on this. And he was like, Paul forgot to hit that close friends on IG before he sent it off. Uh, <laughs> and look, this sucks for Paul Pierce. He's fired. Paul Pierce, like, he wasn't... he. Honestly, he did his job quite well as an analyst. He was good at his job. Does it suck for, I think it sucks more for us as fans than it does for Paul Pierce because now he can do that every night and <laughs> not have to worry about it. His money is set. I'm sure, well, I know he made a lot of money as a player. Uh-huh. I'm sure over the last few years at ESPN, he came on at uh, 2017. I think he was doing some playoff commentary. People loved it. They brought him back full time. And you got to think of that situation. They gave you a nice little bag to come through because apparently whoever they had was not getting it done. And honestly, hopefully we all know Paul Pierce isn't hurting for money. But if he is, the adult website Cam Soda, and no, this is not a plug, has offered him a job as their first ever NBA analyst for a quarter million a year. He could probably get a better offer from Barstool Sports. Honestly, That's what I think is going to happen. Paul Pierce seemed unbothered in his IG 
Snapchat, whatever you want to call it, live video reactions. He's smiling because there's he been no the like official apology, on. have there? No. Yeah, when you ESPN just like we parted ways with him effective immediately. Yeah, which was much. Uh, well, number one, very quick because I think it happened on a Friday. He was fired on a Monday. <laughs> but second, he he'd be fine. Like, no, it, it's just funny. He said bigger and better things are coming. A lot of people are doing this conspiracy theory thing where they're like, Paul Pierce has actively tried to get out of his contract with ESPN so he can do his own thing, bring his own media take on things. Maybe it's under Barstool. Maybe it's just his own imprint. Like many people have, J.J. Reddick is a person that has shown like you can just have your own mm-hmm. imprint as a former, as well, he's still current. Well, hell, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp, 100%. So, it's very interesting. I hope that his next endeavor, we get to see more of the real Paul Pierce in his authentic, exactly in his authentic being. But the booty cheek particles. Something was very interesting to me. Someone made the analog to the fact that ESPN has Matt Barnes on frequently. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about the drink, if mm-hmm. we're talking about the blunts, how does this apply to someone like Matt Barnes? Well, that's. That's the thing. Well, Matt Barnes is a good example, but also Shannon Sharp, who regularly comes on with the Henny bottle, <laughs> comes on set at Fox on live TV with a bottle of Henny, who goes on IG Live and Twitter and, and Facebook Live with a cigar, I will say, in his hand. A gar. It, it is a cigar. A gar. Yes. <laughs> you know, some black uh, mouths. But I've mean? heard Skip with and the wood Shannon tips. talk about eating gummies on live TV. So I don't think it was the alcohol, the drugs. Or the anything else, I think it was just the the strippers. I think that was the camel that broke the horse's back, so to speak, in this instance. <laughs> I'm sure that's a bad analogy for this. But I think for, for ESPN, that was because Matt Barnes is is Matt we know who Matt Barnes is. He don't hide nothing. He At will all. fight you, <laughs> he gonna smoke some weed, and he like a little drink. His podcast is great. Fantastic. But he does all of that and ESPN doesn't care either because he has different <laughs> rules in his contract or it was just a stripper. Cause that's the only thing different from Matt Barnes or Shannon Sharp that Paul Pierce did. Man. So I think that we might need to start doing kind of one of these things where we tally how many jobs in the NBA and NFL are lost to the booty cheek particles mm. every season. And it comes in different ways. Sometimes it's, you have a stripper on your IG as we'll get to later, sometimes you maybe are accused of touching people who you shouldn't touch. I was going to go with Dwayne Haskins at the strip club breaking COVID protocol after his coach had. Who'd you uh, think just... I was talking about? Because I didn't say any names. I, look, I'm just, <laughs> I had this particular story in mind, you know, because this is not the first time we had to talk about the booty cheek particles here on the Fly Route podcast. It's also the side the side, side chick booty cheek particles. Those are those get a lot of guys. Mm. Earl Thomas learned about that. You know, we had a lot of guys. The hard way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we all have to start keeping track. I think maybe maybe one of our great fans will do it for us and share it with us on Twitter at the Fly Route Pod. Let us know. Even estimate how many jobs do you think are lost every year in this country to booty cheek particles? And that was your tee off. Oh, 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 spit that tea, sis. Spit that tea, sis. The fly route pod. 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 We want to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to listen to this video. Did you know that this video is part of a larger fly route podcast? Look us up wherever you watch podcasts. We are on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. Take the time, subscribe. We appreciate you. While we have you here, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Otherwise, you will miss some of our YouTube videos. That's just the way YouTube works. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Fly Route Pod.